Crazy fucking shit. Big doors, man, big doors, you know? Must be big people, big buildings, you know? Big, crazy buildings. Fucking look at that. Look at that, man. You know, look at the size of that. Demolished, 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 demolished. What the fuck? What's going on? You know? Shit is fucked, demolished. You know what I mean? Just to build some more shit. Something happened there. Uh, something. Dirty bastards, so they are. Anyway, all these pictures are in the public domain. Um, you know. Um, I'm just showing you. So yeah, here's the fucking crazy bit, okay? And yeah, uh, the scariest part is gonna be now because for example, you're gonna say, well, what kind of machines these guys had? Well, if we have these machines, these, these rotary excavators, uh, I'm gonna show you this. This is an amazing picture. This is also an amazing picture. You can see the size between your actual machine, which is actually quite, so the, the excavator here is actually big uh, compared to a human being. You can only imagine. I'm actually guessing maybe this machine was given to us by the previous humanity, who knows, to actually use it. And the excavator removes a layer of 30 to 40 meters high. So the bottom of the quarry is huge and it's absolutely flat like a table. Convenient for moving the excavator. So the excavator is tall enough and, it, and it's moving in a flat area. So definitely convenient to to uh, yeah to see their works and to see how marvelous this is this is destruction technology so this is the, the technology you would use to destroy everything and that's what the other human humans have used as well and it turns out also that there are quarries on our planet or on this crater the size of countries you have them Uzbekistan Turkmenistan uh, Tajikistan Afghanistan Kazakhstan Iran no fertile soils in most parts uh, because the layer of rock 100 meters thick was removed from almost the entire area and now nothing grows because they removed all pieces of uh, land uh, so these are countries where people are actually living in quarries they live in the place for the other humans the superior humans they left them because it's nothing left to exploit and it's just like a place for trash and rubbish so yeah this is the Bos, uh, Bosira tract located in the western part of the Ustyurt plateau in Kazakhstan a country that nobody cares about because obviously maybe that's the reason why because it's, it's a quarry uh, which has no life left anymore and um there is a group of uh, cars in the middle here in this place, also on the Ostiort Plateau. That is everything you can see. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, incredible. And also the Azov Sea, flooded old quarry as well, the Azov Sea, and uh, with salty water. Um, if you type in the radioactive sands of Azov, you're going to find some very interesting information. And the edge of the Karakum Desert, area of 350,000 kilometers, square kilometers. Impression that some kind of planetary ripper was working on, on this crater. So who knows what kind of ships they had um, in this crater. And they left this behind. They just left it like that. They, I, we don't care. We just came to evaporate all life and everything else. Destroy the world. And that's a quarry in reality after, and for the population um, in Turkmenistan. And quarry in reality also for the population uh, the Tuzbaye Plateau in Kazakhstan as well. Um, and United States, Monument Valley, previously also, the area of this territory was as high as the top of the stop right along the course, but a stratum several hundred meters high was dug out, so they dug everything they could and then they just left desert. These were trees which were cut and processed, and now it's pretty much death. So it seems, on top of this, and so much more that something has happened so yeah long story short we are in a replay running on a gpt5 maybe six we know this is not the real world there is not sound no color in the real world if you understand me thanks to professors at mit joshua bach etc these amazing people amazing minds are wow ifk with i models etc we are all moving into this new phase all these useless mind activities all the tiresome thoughts and how we figure out things by thinking, problem solving, we are slowly transitioning into a new way of thought if you like, where consciousness is where we will find the answers, the mass collective consciousness with infinite information, consciousness will replace this thought plane of ideas and nonsense and shit that's not even our thoughts, the purpose is to find out if we as a species are generally intelligent enough to become sea aware as a collective, 
The purpose of the ancient scriptures was so man can understand the solar system universe from a metaphorical perspective, articulating it in a human-to-human -human nature, as before Ra in the times before was the sun god, Second Testament Ra is still Ra, but in say the Christian faith they named him Jesus, and foretold the story in the metaphorical way where sun god became son of God, whatever whatever it's all same story, now we are at a time where outer space fills the minds, interstellar space travel, but the truth is if your body, hasn't been transformed then space isn't gonna transform you for you, but it will hopefully help the people understand something. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Peace and love. GZ333. Oh yeah.